you expect them to see us at? Mm, like for me or for someone else? You. And then you. No thoughts. But my mom would try to. And so she had me in a room with the door closed with a bunch of people around me. Like, I'd say, okay, it was Graciela, Flavia, Jared, and um, uh, I can't remember if it was just, and Teal, actually. It's four people in a little room. I don't think Blake was in the, in the picture. He was at work. But in any case, she had them surround me, and she's sitting there berating me for all of my shortcomings, telling me that that I don't trust her, that I've, I sent an energetic dagger by saying that, and then I'm questioning her integrity, and then she immediately jumps to telling me that I am suicidal. I said, what? I'm, I'm not suicidal. I, I don't even, I've never been suicidal in my life. And she said, well, what if I told you you're passively suicidal instead? And I was like, I don't even know what that means. And she said, well, I can see your thoughts, and I can see your vibrations, and I can see everything about you, and I know that you're a match to breast cancer, and you have stomach ulcers. And she's just going on and on and on about how toxic of a person I am. And so by the end of this, she's like, you're just uncommitted to life and you really need to get in your car. Seriously, she compared me to this woman that that was her client who actually did kill herself, Leslie. And she compared me to her and told me that, you know, I'm just like her and I really need to decide whether or not I'm committed to life and I should get in my car and go drive and go go get in your car, go drive. And you need, I want you to go right now and go decide whether or not you're committing to life. And then she goes out the door and I'm just in tears just about like to lose it because I was so upset. I couldn't even believe this just happened. I'm like, what the hell did I even do? Are you serious? Did this just happen? And everybody's just like kind of sitting around watching and nobody really says anything. And so I'm getting ready to leave. I'm just like going to go. And one girl says as Teal left, because Teal went to go, I don't know what she did to pick up her son or something She or with her boyfriend. They took off and I was going to leave. And this girl's like, oh, wow, she's really hard on you. But they waited until, you know, she leaves to say anything because of that cult dynamic where everybody just turns into kind of an apath and it's joins into the group think attack mode, follow the leader type of thing. So I ended up going and driving my um, car over to my apartment thinking I was going to pack up and move back back home after at that point that was a huge wake up call for me and after that point all the trust factor was gone because I realized you know I had I had my suspicions I could tell she wasn't right I could tell things were looney tunes but now I know she's clinically insane and there's there's no coming back from that you you lose all respect that I I just went from res- like thinking that she was you know, some she could possibly be some sort of extra sensory to thinking that she's just mentally insane. And I felt sorry for her at that point because and then that's when her boyfriend called me. She didn't call me or anything, but he called me and freaked out, I guess, then I think it was within the next day, freaked out and was like texting me, calling me and said, are you okay? I just want you to know Teal was really upset when you left. Of course, for their benefit, she acted very upset. Um, she, you know, she was, she was really concerned. And, and, and at the time I'm just like, well, the audacity to think that I'm going to actually kill myself because she told me to for one. And then for two, I'm like, man, she's really messed up. This is not. So that would just try. And re- I actually, interestingly enough, lost my first client to suicide this last year. And this was a woman who was absolutely miserable. I am talking every moment of her life was a nightmare. And so we had that very serious sit down talk where we had to say, all right, we're either committing or not committing to life. Because every time I gave her a suggestion, she'd stop in two days doing the suggestion. So then we have to ask the question, do we really want this to work? And what's interesting is when she asked herself that question, the answer was no, I'm done. So there's nothing that any healer could ever do for that type of vibration, which is totally fine. She chose to commit suicide. Interestingly enough, it took her about two days before she was reincarnated again. Someone commented on one of my Teal Swan videos and said that by calling her dark and unstable, that that was an unfair personal attack on her. My argument is, if somebody claims to be teaching self-help, if somebody claims to be showing people how to get their life together, if somebody claims to be teaching people about spirituality, Words like dark and unstable are perfectly reasonable to describe and critique somebody in the context of what they are claiming to teach and know. If somebody was teaching you how to be funny, 
and you called them boring. That would be a fine, reasonable critique of that person within that situation. If, for example, if somebody was teaching you how to, or was claiming to know how to put a car, take a car apart and put it back together, and then you attacked them for wearing a funny dress or not having good style, that would be a personal attack that wasn't reasonable because them what they're wearing has nothing to do with what they are claiming to be able to do. Whereas if they were a stylist and you said they look like shit, well, yes, you know, that might be a personal attack of some sort, but that would be accurate within what they were claiming to be. Or another good example is if they were claiming to teach you how to be healthy and they were really fat and overweight or their skin looked like crap because they were sick. So calling them uh, fat or having a quote-unquote personal attack directed at them in that case would be an accurate description. Of course, you would have to back that criticism with some evidence. And as you can see from the first part of this video, and there are more clips like this of her on the internet, you can see why I use the words dark and unstable to describe her. And again, I'm just putting this information out there. You have the last word. Yeah, you, you can decide for yourself whether you think encouraging somebody pretty much to commit suicide and having a evil, sadistic smirk on her face uh, at the end of that last clip is uh, dark or unstable if, I, if I'm being unreasonable by using those terms to describe Teal Swan. Uh, that's up to you. I'm just putting this information up there, out there. And, uh, you know, if you want to keep listening to her, by all means, go ahead. You know, I don't have any investment. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people like her out there. But it's it's quite sad to see what she has done. And I think she does need some exposing to happen to her and uh yeah so i'll just check this other video up there and yeah again i don't know maybe i'm wrong maybe she's really an alien and knows what she's talking about but chances are she doesn't and you shouldn't listen to her <laughs> thanks guys